What is up, fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar. Today I'm joined with I'm Jay Station. What's poppin'? I got James, aka the fam. We have a rare opportunity to see one of these spirit boxes. There's only one in the entire world that was made by Steve Huff, aka Huff Paranormal. This spirit box is known as the Wonder Box, but there was only one of these made. It is called the White Box, and I know you've heard of EVP sessions and spirit boxes. This is nothing like that. This is the closest that you can get to a spirit communication session as possible. Now I'm gonna show you this thing, but before I do, I wanna introduce Josh from Ghost Hunts USA, and he's the one that gave us this very rare opportunity to have this shared with you. This is the white spirit box. Now what's the craziest thing that you've gotten craziest through that box? The craziest thing I've gotten through the white box, um, I would have to say is, you know, a lot of times you do EVP sessions and you'll hear someone's name, an intelligent name, you know, like they'll say, you know, hey, can I, can you say my name? Do you know who I am? You'll get Josh. Um, with this, with the white box, I've actually heard people's first and last names called. Wow. Uh, and we were actually in this room when it happened. This thing's intense. I call, I pretty much refer to it as a direct line to the dead because that's what it is. We are at one of the most haunted locations, probably one of the most haunted locations I've ever visited. It's called the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital in Tennessee, not far from Chattanooga. We've been here a little bit just for a tour and I cannot believe all the paranormal activity behind these walls. Some say that it's people that have come here and conjured up spirits it's already haunted from people that have died here in the past we're gonna do a separate exploring video for that but first we're gonna get into this spirit box session links will be in the description to all my friends here let's do this We want to find that fine line between here and what's going in. That way we can cancel it out. I see. It's talking already. Whoa. Dude, and the, the crystal is glowing red, guys. And now, when you touch and pop the antennas, you actually hear the reverb through the speaker. Wow. So that's a good indicator that your antennas are still intact, that it's working correctly. What was that? Steven. Hello, hello, hello. You can hear me. I brought friends that want to talk. They want to communicate. Follow my voice. Come to me. Can you come and show these guys just how powerful you are? We're going to try this out in different rooms too. Here at the hospital. Right now you're in what used to be patient. Did you hear that? Hello? Yeah. Right now you're in what used to be patient waiting. So we're, okay, we're in the patient waiting room. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Can you tell me your name? <laughs> Can you tell me your name, please? This is creepy, dude. This is insane. I know you see these guys with these cameras and they're all excited, but they come here with respect. For you and your building, your space. But they do want to talk to you. Can you come and reach out to them? Go to that box that's sitting in the room. Sitting in the middle of the room. Touch those antennas on top. That copper, that silver. Use that to talk to them. Basically what we're doing is we, we're pushing sound into it. It's an amplified speaker. And with a reverb, we're turning it up. Canceling that noise out. Canceling that sound out. So what happens is spirits, spirit energy, they manipulate these antennas, as you can hear when I touch it. Don't. I'm sorry. They manipulate it and they push a word out. <laughs> I'm going to cancel your reverb down a little bit here. Wow. Make it a little harder. The more you turn that reverb up, the harder they have to work to push that voice through. And with anything, you look for the intelligent response, which we've had two already. Can you tell me your name? I told you mine. Do 
Do you remember my name? Can you say it? Do you remember my name? You have to speak clearly and loud. We only want to establish communication. We only want to talk. Tell me something and make it clear, please. Get out. You hear it? Yeah. It said get out. Yeah. It says get out right there. I think maybe it's standing by the get out sign. Oh, it does say get out right there. Are you standing over there? There you go, guys. Yeah. Are you standing here with us? What is saying? Different voice. Two voices already. Yeah. That was a female. Are you standing here with us? What the? What did that say? I didn't hear that. No. Whether I understand it or not, I want you to yell extremely loud through this. <gasps> Oh, oh my god, <laughs> dude, that's what it's about. That's what is it. Oh my, now with me, oh, with me holding in the antennas, with me holding the antennas, I want you to come and speak through me. Use my energy and speak, but make it clear. Can you do that? What happened to your hat? You know that? James. Hey. James. What's the matter? Did you do that? No. Dude, I'm sitting here with my camera holding this. All of a sudden, my hat goes flying off. I didn't even move my head. I heard it fall. All right, all right. Well, hang on. What the hell? Hold on. Well, let's ask. Yeah, ask. Yeah. Did you mess? Did you t did you touch James' hat? <laughs> yes. Did you hear it? <laughs> One more time for validation. Loudly, did you touch James's hat? James, like, please answer me. He, like froze for a second. It's so weird because I just turned my hat around, and, like a minute after I turned my hat around, it goes flying off my head, dude. What the hell? Did you touch James's hat? That was odd. Yeah. I don't know if that was a woman or a child. What did he say? I don't know if it was a woman or a child. Are there children here with us? Oh. Hello. Hello. He Hi. said hello. Gee, that said hello. That said totally... hello. <gasps> Are you just joining us? Said it again. Oh, dude, I got freaking goosebumps really bad. I need you to come closer. I need you to come here to me. It went from random noises to like clear sounds. Yeah. Hello? Did you like James' hat? <gasps> oh. That sounded like a, was that a yeah or a no? I, I thought I said no. Yeah. Did you like James' hat? Yes or no? Bye bye. Clearly, please. She's got to try harder. That's all right. Bye bye. What the? That was. Stand behind you guys when I'm trying to hear it, Patty. Hello? 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 
Direct answer, please. Do you like us being in here? No. No. Oh my God. That's a that was no. a clear no. People who come here, are they in danger? I thought it... Did, did it repeat you? Did it say danger? Danger? Can you say that again, please? The people who come here and visit you, are they in danger? How many people are with us right now? Can you tell me that? Seven? <laughs> I thought it was said seven. Maybe with other people in the building, there is maybe seven. Said so, Stacy, Darla, Sam... Three of y'all oh, and me, so seven. seven. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Stacy, Darla, Sam, me, and then you three. Wow. Seven. This thing's pretty intelligent. Were you watching us earlier? Can we talk to you, please? <laughs> So we're going to another location to try to communicate with spirits using the white spirit box. Never had anything like that happen. Like James's hat flew off. This is one of the main parts of the emergency room. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of lives died in this room right here. I almost feel like we should do the spirit box. I just wanted to show you real quick what this place looks like. Like, like I mentioned, we are going to be exploring this place a little bit later tonight and yeah, you can see it's still sunny out but I'll tell you what I've never really been creeped out at a place like this you can see there's tons of paranormal researchers that have been here That's one of the original hospital beds from the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. And there's a lot of stuff left behind here too. All right, I am kind of lost in here. James! We're gonna be combing this entire area. I was walking around earlier and I did get lost. And one of their sayings here at the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital is that you will not leave here without getting touched physically by a spirit. Hasn't happened yet, but I'm pretty sure it will happen. So far, James has been touched and you guys witnessed that. Probably going to be hosting an event here in the summer if you want to know more about that it's going to be cool might do like a meet and greet and exploring like together so if you want to be a part of that let me know there is going to be a fee included of course because you know everybody has to pay to come here we have to rent out the place and but it's going to be a good time It'll be a great great way to meet up with me and james and jay Oh, you saw a girl. There's a girl over there. No way. And that's oh. what's down the hall? Do you, see, do you see the child in her arms? I heard about she's holding a the, baby. Yeah, do you see the baby in her arms? Oh, man. There's a baby in her arms. Wait, where was that picture taken? Walking out of the nursery right there. Whoa. Wow. Wow. That was right down here? Yeah. If you oh walk God. out past those nursery windows, there's a goat. Yeah? Oh, it's right there. Where? So this is the nursery right here. This is where... You know, you would come and you'd see the little babies right there. I'm gonna probably invest a little bit more time in this area because remember Stacy was telling us that you can hear 
babies crying. Yeah, it's, and men were not allowed in the nursery. So we okay. actually use that to our advantage when we're investigating. We'll send guys into the nursery. So your and picture we'll have, is right here, though. Yeah, she was standing right here. She was mid-stride. Oh, right here. man. Whoa. That is creepy. Yeah. That wow, is creepy. guys, this is insane. And, and what's even better is we don't take these photos. Our guests that come to our event, they take the photos. We tell them, you know, take photos, take them in five, ten, and then go back and review them. See this room right here? This is where women used to give birth to babies. And Stacy had told me that you could often hear like a woman screaming. And then after that, you hear a baby cry like she had just given birth. Now, I hope I get to catch a sound like that. Uh, we'll see. We're going to be spending a lot of time here later. So that'll be on my Explore video. And James and I are going to split up. Jay and I are going to split up. Okay. We're going to keep doing the whole spirit box session. Hope you're enjoying this video. Make sure to give it a like if you haven't already. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll leave my links here in the beginning. And the reason being is because sometimes I upload videos. And if you're not notified, like a lot of people, like I had an incident recently where I uploaded my video and it didn't show up on my YouTube page. Even if you wanted to, you know, look on your subscription feed, like it was not there. And it showed up like eight hours later. So, yeah, I do post on my Twitter like when I upload. So we got the spirit box right over here. Friends up here. You probably saw them earlier. They're running around here with their cameras. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to reach out to you. Well, I've given them away. Can you come up here and talk to them? I've got a device sitting in this chair. It's got antennas on top of it. They're copper and silver. If you go up and you use those, you can manipulate it and draw that word out. What? Children. Are there children here? They do sound like some kids. I'll ask again, are there children here? There are children here. Do you want to play? We can play with you. Let me hear you say something. We don't believe in you. You're going to really piss them off, bro. <laughs> that might work. Bro. Show us that you're real. <gasps> it's kids, dude. It is kids. Wait, it sounds like kids. It does sound like kids. Whoa. Do you like that toy that I put right next to the box? Oh, that's like a deeper voice. Hang on, hold on, ready. No! We want to talk to the children that we heard. Unless you're going to cooperate, we want to talk to the children that we heard. Unless you're a mother that lost a child in here, I'm interested in talking to you. Did you lose a child here? Whoa. Dude, this thing is like... Are you going to come and talk to us? Things really active when you were talking to us. Go crazy. Oh. James, say something to it. Are you happy? We have a lot of people that watch our videos. And there may be some of your loved ones out there that may be able to see this. Is there anything you want to tell any of your loved ones? <laughs> what the heck is that? Sound like an evil laugh or something. To me, bro. Yeah, bro. What the heck, bro? There's definitely more than just kids in here. 
Yeah, you can always hear the tone and reverberation. That's what I love about it. You can actually pick Ooh, the voice out. Yeah, I heard some too. That was a kid again. Mm -hmm. Are there six of you here? Who's that deep voice again? It's funny because the last session that I've done here when I was field testing this, I asked that same question. You did? Six. And I said, any children? And it said, only two. Hmm. And I said, can we speak to them? And they said, no, they're sleeping. Hmm. Six is a consistent number up here. Come on, before these guys go, I want you to blow them away. Show them just what you can do. Can you say J? Can you say J? Dude, there was a freaking shadow. It went right across right there. You saw it? Why did you get scared? Dude. Oh my god, you're a freaking savage, dude. You seen the same thing I see right now? Yes! It went from left to right. That's the second time I've seen it. You seen it too? I saw is that why you were looking over there? Yes! It's crushed! I'm sorry, oh, that, that caught me by surprise. <laughs> Man. You just scared me! I hope I caught That's that. That's where you got the picture though. of the girl down there. Yeah, you scared me! Did you get that on film? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, Good boy. I think I just peed my pants. I really think I, I think I peed my pants. Bro, I never heard a scream like that come out of you, dude. I'm serious. I've heard you scream a lot, but not like that, dude. You really were freaked there. Can you run down here to me? Hey, didn't Stacy say something about a demonic figure that's yeah, down? There's like seven foot tall figures. Yeah, I got pictures. There. There's a little demonic figure too. Come on! Dude, I swear. I've seen that thing. It, it, it like darted across the room. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe it went this way. No, oh! Stacey. Oh gosh. Oh, that scared me. Ooh. No, that's oh that's my god. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 how many God. times do you see me get scared over a shadow run across the wall? Alright, I got this scared. Right here, yeah. so shadow, shadow run across the wall, <laughs> and he screamed, and hell, I screamed across the wall. I don't know what the fuck that, but not the legs. going on right now. The secret is out. Not so much up here as we did downstairs. I am not savage, okay? Oh, look at that one. I just want to prove that I'm not scared of it. It just caught me by surprise. I'm not sure if I caught that on video, but it was right in the area where I told you that the women have died giving birth. It's inside the wall. Huh? There's something that comes out of the wall that attached to right here, up here. Right up, right up here? That's what he was thinking about, the little creeper demon, the demonic thing. Yeah. I've seen it like right around here. It was, well, it was right on the other side of the doorway. Yeah, it was right here. kind of loud, guys. Oh, they heard a scream? Yeah, yeah. It was right in here. Yeah? Yeah. This is, yeah, it was right it. around here. I saw it once earlier when we had just started the session. I saw it move across the hall. And then I saw it again. Josh was looking down this hallway like, like hard, like if he no, was. No, I was waiting to see it again. Yeah. I saw it once when when we had just started our session, so I was waiting to see it was again. Was it like kind of frozen? Yes and no. I've seen it, it move. Was, it was it was well, it wasn't like you and I would move. It was just like this solid figure, but it moves. I thought that it was actually going to come towards me like i don't know it, i almost seen it kind of darting or like running oh yeah it darted and that's what i was waiting on i was waiting to see it again you think it was that deeper sound that we were hearing through the spirit box i, I don't know I mean, that's why we do this those are questions we can never answer yo my heart is racing right now <sighs> If you guys want a little bit more information on the White Spirit Box or the Wonder Box, I will leave links here in the description to Ghost Hunts USA. Also, check out my friends here. We got I'm J Station and we got James the Fam. This was a rather rare opportunity for us to be able to communicate through this Spirit Box. Still a little bit scared on what I saw. We're going to start exploring this place in a little bit. Video will be coming after this one. I'm pretty sure it will. Only been in just a few places on this video, so you're not going to want to miss that. I love you. But before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace.